Hey, this is Jun. Welcome back. Before I talk about today's video, I've changed my channel name from Gold Hand Drawings to June Drawings. I guess it sounds more friendly, right? I mean, most of my videos are related to stationary reviews, so I think June Drawings sounds a little bit more appropriate than the Gold Hand Drawings. Also, my drawing skills are not even near gold hand so I just changed it to June drawings and I'm also going to make one more channel which is related to the ASMR so I think that one I'm gonna name it June ASMR so you guys won't be seeing any more ASMR videos in this channel so all the ASMR I'm gonna do it on the June ASMR and in here June drawings I'm gonna be keep talking about the stationary reviews mainly okay so today I'll be talking about my top 10 writing instruments I mean it's just my preference but I've used it for a decent period of times and these 10 writing instruments are the ones that I think is really good so I'm pretty confident that you guys will also like it so let's get into it so my first pick will be this uni jet stream jet stream from uni it's a ballpoint pen and for those who never tried this it's a must buy ballpoint pen because it will give you a total different experience first um, you don't have to press the pen like other ballpoint pen you know just a just a little pressure it glides on the uh, paper like skate on the ice rink I mean, it was uh, literally a shock to me when I first used it. It glides like a fountain pen, but no need to maintain like fountain pens. So, so it only has the good size of the fountain pens. Only downside is um, it looks super ugly. So I bought a molten pen use refill and stick it into the Faber Castell clutch pencil. So yeah, it got prettier. So this is actually like my everyday carry pen. So very reliable, can write on like almost any type of paper, very sturdy, very affordable. It's almost perfect. So I uh, highly recommend this uni gesturing. And if you don't like the ballpoint pen, if you're more of a gel pen person and you happen to like the fine lines of course uh, this is the best no doubt I've been using this um, high-tech C since high school and I'm telling you you can't use other gel pens after using this it's a very consistent on the flow very fine line great for drawings great for writings this was my uh, go-to pen when I was in high school comes out super thin I can't think of any other better options if you like a fine liner and a gel pen. Just make sure you don't drop it because you can't use it when the tip hits the ground. If you drop it by accidentally, it's, uh, it's pretty much dead. Now let's talk about mechanical pencil. And I've been using mechanical pencils almost all my life and I've picked the um, Graph 1000 from Pentel I mean it really has a great balance and ideal lightweight for long writing sessions it's very uh, suitable to students who studies a lot also a uh, very affordable price less than ten dollars I think so we can always replace it to new one if something happens I mean, other two great mechanical pencil I can think of are the um, Caveco Special and Graphon Classic. But they can't win the uh, Graph 1000 because of the price. I mean, less than $10 for this result. I think it's almost perfect. The pipe is 4 centimeters, so we can write or draw very precisely even uh, drafting is possible the grip is a combination of rubber and metal so it won't get slippery 
The whole thing has a rubber, it will get slippery as time passes, but this is like a mix so it won't and it's very less fatigue than the knurled grip. So uh, if you're looking for a decent mechanical pencil in a very affordable price, you can't go wrong with this. And now I picked the uh, Mars Lumograph 100 as the best recommendable pencil. I mean there are also some pencils that are better than this but thinking about how easy we can get it and the performance consistency and even the price I never saw anybody saying no to this. I mean there's just no flaw on this pencil. The lid is sturdy, fine tip held up for quite long and the graphite and clays are finely grinded so there isn't any like a weird odd strokes as we use. Very uh, consistent on the performance. I mean if you don't know what pencil to buy because you really don't know what type of pencil you like, uh, this uh, Stadler Mars Lumograph is the, like, the safest choice and there aren't a lot of pencil that is like way more superior than this so pencil Mars Lumograph so now uh, just in case you don't like the color combo of this uh, Stadler Lumograph like me there is also one option and that is Fabric Castell 9000 and I picked the uh, perfect pencil. I think this is uh, perfect for outdoor use. It protects the lid, can work as an extender, you can sharpen it. I mean this is not the actual pencil that comes with the uh, perfect pencil cap but the original one they, has, they have an eraser so we can even erase it. Cool color, same grade level with the uh, Stadler on the performance. Also very sturdy and consistent. I mean the only uh, difference to Mars Lumograph is that the lid is slightly lighter. So I guess go with B if you want HB. Other than that, um, the graphite being light, this perfect pencil is perfect. So highly recommendable. And if you want a little bit more fancier one, you can go with the uh, aluminum one. This one is also very nice. Super good. Just uh, don't let anybody steal it from you because I saw a lot of people want to just take it from me. <laughs> so make sure you uh, protect it from other bad people. Speaking of uh, fiber castell I mean, I know that there isn't a lot of people who use this clutch pencil, but I decided to put it in the list since um, I think this is a great option for people who like both pencil and mechanical pencils. And I've used all sorts of clutch pencils around the world. And I'm telling you, not a single clutch pencil is better than Faber-Castell TK series in um, any criteria. I mean, the, uh, the sturdiness, even the weight, the balance, the price, even the grip, just any criteria, this uh, TK series is the best. I mean, uh, I personally think this TK series is not something that should get compared to other clutch pencils because I think this is nearly perfect. So with all my uh, full confidence, just stick to uh, Fabric Castell. Now the uh, the rest will be fountain pens, and the first one I choose will be um, Lamy Safari. I mean the profile is very uh, modern looking, so it has a very easy approach to consumers who are new to fountain pen. I also never used or never were interested in fountain pen until I knew Lamy. And after buying one, I got into the uh, fountain pen world, so I uh, always thank Lamy company 
And the great thing about this Safari is I think easy maintenance. If there's something wrong with your uh, nib or just want to change the nib size, you can just buy only the nib and replace it by yourself. And not a lot of fountain pens can do that. And the, uh, the nib itself is not also expensive. I think about like $10 I think. Also, uh, it comes out with variety of colors for you to make your own collection. Limited edition colors comes out every year. It's a, it's a super great company. Now the uh, eighth pick is kind of broad, I would say. I didn't specifically like select one, but I narrowed it down to top three, top three Japanese brand fountain pen that is over 100 USD. So I have two. The Pilot Custom 74, which was like uh, $100. And the Platinum Century, which is also kind of that price. Maybe like $120, I think. And the great thing about this um, Pilot, Platinum, or Sailor is that you can get a gold nib with just slightly over $100. And their quality control is very... Um, better than any other countries that produces fountain pens. It's very consistent, high quality control. And they also have like a variety of cool nibs. In Platinum, they, they have UEF, which is finer than EF. And in Platinum, they have an FA nib, which is a super flexible nib. I mean, they even have a music nib. I mean, all sorts. So very fun to play with, very uh, reliable on the performance, and $100 for a gold nib, I think it's a very good buy. So it's totally uh, recommendable. And the next, I picked one expensive one, which is uh, Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc Meisterstuck 146 or 149. If you have a big hand, one for nine. Smaller hand, one for six. This is one for six. One for nine is a uh, slightly thicker. And if you have some experience in using fountain pens, and once you put this uh, Meister stuck in your hand, you will know like how great the balance is. It fits perfectly on your hand. It's very comfortable. Weight is also perfect. Also, this cigar shape is a very uh, timeless design. So, great performance. It's all perfect. Uh, the only downside will be the price. Because for me, uh, the price was not on my comfort zone. Actually, way out of my comfort zone. But um, even though I always wanted one, Mont Blanc, so I had to buy it. I mean, it's a great pen. Very uh, recommendable if you have a budget. Now, if the Mont Blanc is uh, overpriced for you, you can go with the uh, Pelican Souverain. I mean, M600, M400, 800, even thousand, they're all good. It just depends on your hand size. And the, the Pelican's uh, nib, they're a little bit narrow and long compared to the other brands, so it's slightly uh, bouncier than other fountain pens. Anyway, um, Pelican is super lightweight, so you can write comfortably with even a uh, post-it and it also uh, glides on paper, any type of paper. The paper quality is, is not an issue to uh, Pelican. Downside, maybe only for me, is that uh, it's slightly thick. The nib is slightly thicker than other fountain pen companies. So if I use a Pelican EF and Mont Blanc EF, 
Pelican EF is thick, thicker. It comes out thicker than Mont Blanc or any other type, I think. It's, it's a little bit um, thick. I usually like uh, fine line, a little bit more than thick ones. But uh, other than that, this uh, Pelican is really great. The price uh, is also not too expensive, so Pelican will be my uh, last recommendation. Okay, so we went through all 10 writing instruments. Even though it's just my preference, I'm, uh, I'm fully confident that these 10 will serve you with no issue at all. You won't regret buying these. It's very uh, highly recommendable. Alright, so um, thanks for watching and please like my video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.